welcome everybody or yoga for everybody that's all of us today and here we go with the bell that kicks us off every time that little sound that reminds us we're going to practice yoga and don't worry because uh, you want to say pants <laughs> And this is, for, this is really for body enjoyment, just lift your spirits. We should feel at least a little bit better, but I'm going to guess that we're going to feel a lot better um, at the end of the session. So start, we're going to start standing because it's the middle of the day. You know, we may have been sitting. I've been sitting, so I think it's quite a good, good moment to just get up and stand. So then we have a look at our feet. So feet, I like to get it about hips width apart and parallel. So hips width is here rather than here, so it's the hip joint. So they're just hanging there. And we're gonna lift the toes off the ground, really lift them. So if you're peeling them off, you're trying to get as much of the toes off the ground as possible, and then place them down. So we're just finding the ground with our feet. And then we're gonna lift the heels high, pushing off the toes. That might test the balance a little bit, but we're just gonna keep trying, and then we bring the heels down. And we're just gonna just feel the ground a little bit with our feet, just kind of move them around. A little bit of ankle work there. And then we're going to lift the shoulders up, breathing in. Bring the shoulders right up to the ears. Hold the breath in for a second, then out through the mouth. <sighs> That's just taking that top edge of tension away. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up high. And out through the mouth. <sighs> really let that air come out of the mouth all in one go. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up high. And out through the mouth. <sighs> Roll the shoulders back a few times. Just the shoulders, leave the arms really kind of heavy and floppy. So it's the shoulders that are doing the work. So you can see I'm really taking the shoulders in the full range. And in fact, that movement comes into the knees. It doesn't come into the elbows or the rest of the arms. It's just coming into the knees a little bit. So we just get a little bit of kind of fluidity and flow coming into the body. Yeah. And enjoy your breath. Don't hold your breath. Let's take the shoulders forwards now. Yeah, breathing in and out to the nostrils. Let's get that engine kind of revving with the, the breath. The breath is kind of really driving that engine. Okay, then we take the feet apart. Knees are bent. So feet are about shoulder or wider apart. Knees are bent now. And just let the arms kind of, just bounce the knees and let the arms really kind of get floppy. So just letting them kind of move around just to remind the arms not to stay active. Shoulders have dropped already a little bit. So we can come into these twists. So the arms, you see, they're not moving the body. You know, we're not moving the arms around. We're letting the arms be moved by the body. So the center is moving. This is moving. And the arms are just being moved. And we breathe freely. We keep the knees really bendy and springy. Let the backs of the hands go smack into the lower back. So we get a bit of momentum going, you know, we can really get those arms smack and turn and twist to look right behind you. It's also a little bit of test for the balance. Breathe, I'm just feeling, I feel the coolness of the air. My arms move through the air. Yeah, breathe, breathe, breathe. And slowly come to a stop. Put the hands in front and behind, wake yourself up. Pick the hands up, energize the hands. Bring energy to the hands, and we just take the backs of the hands onto the lower back, pummeling that whole area. Ah, ah, and we make some sound. Don't worry, no one can hear you. <laughs> Breathing into the nostrils. Ah, ah, sigh out through the mouth, make some sound. Then bring those hands, the hips to this area. Oh, yeah energizing this area which tends to get a little bit tight from all that sitting but a lot of us tend to do it's a tendency it's very common these days fingers take those so it's like stiff fingers we're pummeling the whole chest area opening up the breath we're really encouraging the breath to get active breathe in and out for the mouth ah, let your sound out don't hold it in ah. we're all holding in our special sounds, our, our special song in to ourselves. And we really want to share it and let it out. Let it be expressed. One more time. Uh, it's 
the middle. And I'm just going to rub the sides a little bit. Ooh, it feels very soothing sometimes, you know, the sides. But just to encourage that, we even hug ourselves a little bit. So just give yourself a little bit of a rub this way. So we go this way, and then we just take the hands around the sides and just give yourself a little rub and hold yourself a little bit. Breathe in, feel the wings, feel the ribs. It's just like the wings, the ribs. Feel the wings expand. And breathe out for the mouth. <sighs> yeah, okay. And we'll do a little cross crawl. So cross lateral movement based just, you know, this is what we do when we walk, is cross lateral, opposites. So we do the same thing. We're gonna lift the knee, meet it with the right hand. So right knee, left hand. And we're just doing this quite slowly. And this is just limbering, getting the body moving, but also this coordination and this cross lateral movement helps the body brain coordination. And also just kind of reconfigures the energy, gets the energy flowing in a much more useful and productive way. And we've got always, always getting jangled in the energy, the flow of energy or blocked sometimes just from the kind of, you know, life, lifestyle, living, being a human. <laughs> it's normal, it's normal to just get blocked feel this, you know, this dullness in the energy sometimes. So we liven it up with the yoga, that's what it's for. As well as many other things. Yeah, it's a good path to tread, the yoga path. Take the leg out to the side and the other arm over the head. So again, we're moving in opposite. So left leg out, the right arm goes over the head. And this other arm, just kind of let it hang underneath or kind of, you can always make it kind of echo of the upper arm if you like. But standing nice and tall, lifting the chest all the time. I'm um, getting lost. <laughs> Opposites, right? It's because <laughs> it's I stopped. Because I was talking, I distracted myself. <laughs> so we're just opening up the body a little bit as well. And then we'll finish with this one because it's nice, it's fun. So I bring the weight onto the right ball of the foot. So you can see I'm just springing with that heel, it's just springing off the ground. And then the other leg, the foot goes behind. And the hand that touches that foot is the one nearest to it. So it's my right hand, left foot right hand and the other arm goes over the head so it looks like this so once you get that spring then it's kind of much more fun and you can't help smiling and what's kind of nice as well which is quite good is just coming off the mat as well just having a little dance with yourself and smiling at yourself or just smiling at me <laughs> how silly i look yeah it's a little more common wise dance that we like to do and then we're just gonna down for a moment, gather ourselves. Let's sweep out any kind of debris. So as you inhale, lift the arms up, exhaling out to the mouth in one ha. ha. Bend knees, arms swing heavy. Okay, let's go again. Breathing in, look up, and then out to the mouth. Ha. Good. And let's try that again. Breathing in, lift up, look up, fill your body with energy, and then out to the mouth. Ha. Swing the arms a few times. Let's go one more time. So to really think about what you want to sweep out, what's the cobwebs going on in your mind? Breathe again. Sweeping up with a <sighs> So a bit more vital now, a bit more vitality in the body. Let's just um, come to the front of the mat. I'm going to step into some standing postures here, as I like to do. So stepping in and out the postures, I think this really develops a little bit of grace and poise. It just finds a bit more flow in our practice. It's something that I really enjoy. So we have a feet, hips and apart, parallel, weight on the left foot. We're gonna step back for triangle, trikonasana. So we take that right foot back. It's not a massive step, it's not a warrior step, but it's a decent sized step. And the feet are at right angles, you see? Right foot pointing forward, left foot pointing out the front of the mat. Square the hips lift the arms but also lift the ribs and chest you're getting nice and long here in the waist look up to where the hands are going that helps to encourage that extension exhale bring the arms to shoulder height inhale open the arms wide really think about it always makes me smile because it makes me think about opening the heart and on the exhale keeping the legs straight and the arms straight we reach over to the left on the exhale then down meet that left leg wherever it is you haven't got to be the same um in the same shape as me you haven't got to be, you know, right down here. You could be here. This is much more elegant if you find this is where you're at. 
to work where you're at. Bending the knees softly just to kind of make sure they're not locked. We don't want a locked knee, we want a straight but soft knee. Reaching up with the right hand, dropping both shoulders down, neck is in line with the spine, and either looking forward to the face or looking up at that right hand if your neck allows. Breathe here. Let's stay in this beautiful triangle pose. This triangle, this is shape is, is representing harmony. Triangles are harmonious kinds of shapes. So breathing is that. And then as you come out, we're going to inhale, soften and bend that left knee and lift yourself up. And as you exhale, let the arms float down. So it's coming out the posture nice and gracefully. It really makes all the difference. Bend into the right knee and come to the front of the mat. Good. Shift the weight to the right foot. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So we step back to the left. Find that nice, strong right angle with the feet. Right foot pointing directly forwards. Left foot pointing um, at a right angle to it. Square the hips. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Look up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, open the palms wide. Open the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, reach over to the right as far as you can. And then now. Now make that contact with that right leg and look up at the left fingertips. If your neck is okay with that, soften the knees, feel the feet on the ground, wiggle the toes. So keeping everything very lively, very included, very harmonious. You know, all the whole body is included. We don't lock things out. We keep everything alive. We stay connected with our breath, with our body with our limbs, with our connection with the earth. So we have all this going on. And then as you breathe in, you bend that right knee and lift yourself up. By standing, exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the left knee and come back to the front of the mat. So we're back to the beginning. So we're going to come into reverse triangle now. So it's the same size step. So we go back to putting the weight on the left foot and we step back with the right. So we've got the same shape with the feet, but then we're going to change that slightly by bringing both the feet pointing forwards. So they're parallel. I'm going to shift over. Nice little movement. You don't have to do that. <laughs> just so I'm in the middle. It just it just pleases me a bit more. Feet, so feet are at a decent size uh, stance. Now we're going to lift the arms up, not just the arms, but also the chest. Don't forget, because we want to get ourselves long. This is why I like doing this. And then bring the arms down to shoulder height, making sure the shoulders aren't hunched up. They're low down. Shoulders down, chest up. So this is long here. Inhale here. So we do this in stages. Then we exhale and we turn the whole body to look down the outside of the right leg. Arms still outstretched. Now inhale here. And as you exhale, you bring the left hand down to the outside of the right leg. This might be quite high up, and it could be as far down as your ankle. And as that happens, it's almost like there's a windmill that happens, you know, that Left arm goes down, right arm goes up. This is a bit more challenging than the regular triangle because you're a bit more um, constricted with your breath. So breathing, you can look up at that right hand again if your neck is okay. Otherwise, just look on the horizontal, just directly forwards. Deep breaths here. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the right hand down to the right foot, left hand over to the left foot. So we're in a wide leg forward bend here. And just to feel that, we're gonna bring the hands to the center. Come up on the fingertips, look forwards, and then come into that forward bend. If you're finding it difficult to reach the ground, you can put something on the ground, like a block or a book, or you can bend the knees slightly. You know, whatever you do, we wanna have contact with the earth. Otherwise, you know, it's all a little bit kind of um, tense, really. We're hanging in space. So make contact with the ground in whatever way you can come up again on the fingertips, look forward. So we're lengthening the spine. This is why I'm encouraging you to look forward. So we're lengthening the spine. And then we're trying to bring that into the forward bend. And just breathe here in a forward bend. Then come up to the fingertips one more time, breathing in, look forwards. And then we're gonna stay, stay, stay here, but we're gonna lift up slightly. So we're halfway, so you can see the back is nice and straight. I'm looking forwards, take my hands to my hips or hold the back if you need more support, lifting the elbows. So this is nice and upright and straight, strong back, strong legs, strong buttocks, strong belly. 
Use the inhale to come back up and release. Other side now. So inhale, lift the arms up, lengthen the body. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, expand from fingertip to fingertip. Exhale, turning towards your left this time. So we're looking down the left, outside of the left leg. Breathe in here. Now the right hand goes down to the outside of the left leg, wherever you want to reach. You know, it could be higher or lower. And then that left hand goes, flies up into the air. And we're looking up at that left hand or forwards, you know, but we're trying to reach up. There's a slight twist. You can feel that twist in your spine. Breathe into that. One more breath in. Bring the left hand down to the left foot on the exhale and step the right hand over to the right foot. So we're in this forward bend again. And this time we're just going to release a little bit. So we bend the knees and come into a wide leg ragdoll. This is hanging the body. So the knees need to be bent. So the legs are strong here. They're active for the upper body. Everything from the hips upwards to the top of the head, the tips of the fingers is hanging, is completely uh, relaxed. And at this point, we can do some restorative breaths. So that's inhale through the nostrils, deeply and then out through the mouth. Uh, you can even add a sigh to it. It's nice to have a sigh. Uh, and the sigh really helps to trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation response. So it's good to sigh. Uh, yeah, it's comforting for oneself. So we're going to uncurl from this. So we start off by feeling a sense of lift from the base of the spine. We leave the head heavy. Don't lift from the head. Keep the knees bent. Leave the head heavy. Leave the arms heavy. Knees are bent. Slowly uncurling. Imagine the energy is rising up from the spine. Each little vertebrae is lifting up. So finally, the shoulders lift and roll back. The head lifts. And we're nice and tall again. Okay. Let's just bring the feet together here. Give all the limbs a little shake, so legs a shake, give the arms a shake, just have a little moment there. Okay, so let's come into another standing posture, come to front of the mat. Peaceful warrior. So some standing, we'll do some standing and then we will move to the, the ground, so it's not going to be all super active. So we bring the weight onto the left foot. We're going to take a much bigger step back with the right foot. So get all the weight onto there, get ready with the right foot, and take a really big step. So I like to kind of kick forwards. It really helps me to, but you don't have to do that. It's just my style. <laughs> so if you don't get that step as wide as you want, just kind of creep it back. You know, that's fine. As long as you get to the width that you want to. And then get the hips again, rather than out, you know, kind of what to one side, square to themselves and square to the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale here, expand the chest. Exhale, bending into that left knee, making sure it's going in line with that left toes. And then also pushing into the right heel. This is just as important. Also equally, you're not, we're not reaching forward with the left hand. We're reaching, uh, we're reaching between the fingertips. We're reaching um, from side to side. We're extending in both directions. This keeps the body upright, because even, this is a square, the warriors are like squares, so they're very kind of dynamic, and balanced, opening up that left knee. And now we're going to come into Peaceful Warrior, breathing in, breathing out, reach back with that right hand. Now the arms are going to stay kind of in alignment, so as that right arm goes down, the left arm goes up. We reach up with the left hand, and then we turn the palm, and the palm comes over the body. Notice also if that left knee has started straightening up, the front knee, and keep that bend, keep the warrior knee. So the weight is still kind of even between the feet, or even-ish anyway. And if you feel okay, you can look up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm. Breathe, breathe deeply, dig deep into your breath. Good. So we'll need an inhale to come back up to warrior, and then exhale to sink into it one more time, sink in. Come up on the inhale and lower the arms on the exhale and it feels so nice when you <laughs> get the release. Bend into the right, right knee a lot so that you can spring back to the front of the mat. That's, that's more difficult than the other one because you've got further to come. But with practice that gets easier. Weight in the right foot, take a big step forward with the left and get that nice wide stance, even weight 
through the feet. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale, extend between the fingertips. Lift the chest. Exhale, bending into that right knee. It's going in the same line as your toes. Have a look on the inside of the knee. Check you can see the big toe on the inside of the knee, pressing into that left heel. Strong outside of that left leg. Extending between the fingertips, looking down that right arm. Now, peaceful warrior, breathe in. As you breathe out, reaching back with the left hand and down, make contact with that strong left leg and then the right arm floats up, pointing directly up to the ceiling. And then we turn the palm and it reaches over the body. So it's quite a strong, the beautiful curve here, a beautiful arc from the hip right to the fingertip. Keep that front knee bent, the right knee, and breathe. In and out through the nostrils. Deep breathing there, looking up at the ceiling if you feel that's okay for you. And on the inhale, come back up. And on the exhale, sinking into warrior two for a moment. And then inhaling, reaching or stretch, uh, straightening up. Exhale, lower the arms down. So gracefully, slowly, you can come out of the posture. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back in front of the mat. Let's have a little release. So we're going to come into a squat. It's, um, you know, this is different for everybody. Some people it's like, yeah, straight away, squatting, feet flat. For other people, the heels are off the ground. If that's you, place something underneath your heels. Cushions, blankets, anything. Blocks if you have them. Otherwise, you're kind of going to be teetering and not able to relax. If it's impossible, if you're kind of, then you can either put something under your knees to halfway get there or have a little stool. So you're just easing into this position and then let the head hang. Let the arms rest on the ground. The backs of the arms rest. The body is coming in between the knees. Breathing into the nostrils. Out right through the mouth. In through the nostrils. Right. And we slowly lift up the head. Bring the left hand to the ground. Use the inhale to lift the right arm up. In fact, as the inhale is lifting, imagine that the inhale is, is lifting the fingertips up to the ceiling. It's kind of much more, it's much easier. Sometimes it's just the way we think of things really changes things. And we rotate that right hand clockwise and we imagine it's getting longer and longer like a vine creeping up and watching that hand and then we rotate it the other way and we imagine it's unwinding and coming back down to the ground unwinding back down to the ground the right hand on the ground inhale lifting the left fingertips the inhale lifts the arm look up at that left hand rotating Rotating clockwise, rotating the wrist. So we're drawing a big circle with the, with the um, fingers, if you like, and then rotating in the other direction. And it's unwinding and coming back down to the earth. I like to keep that kind of spiraling movement happening as it comes to the earth. Pressing to the ground, we're gonna come into a ragdoll. This is a regular ragdoll. We had the wide leg before, knees are bent, bodies hanging there. In through the nostrils. <sighs> out of the mouth let the head hang in fact encourage the head to really or the neck actually neck to totally give way and relax feel the weight of the head by turning the head as if you're saying no that just really helps i think a little bit to remind that neck just to let go and the shoulders hanging knees are bent legs are strong and we'll just start to feel that energy at the base of the spine starting to wake up and rising up through the spine. It's like it's slowly, there's life coming back in and it's rebuilding. So we're leaving the head till last, we're leaving the arms almost till last and the shoulders almost till last. And we lift, roll up through the spine and then we roll the shoulders back, lift the head. We'll just do a few more rolls of the shoulders maybe. And maybe bring that into the arms, lifting the elbows, bend the knees. So we're just gonna get a bit more fluid with this whole arm circles until the arms are right up by the ears. Yeah, breathe, bring some breath into the body. Life into the body. Let me go forward to the shoulders now. We'll do the same thing. Still knees bending to get this fluidity happening. Elbows lifting now, 
arms lifting. Yeah, so get lots of arm movement. Notice how that really opens up the shoulders and into the chest. Yeah, okay. So a little bit interlude. Let's come back to some standing postures. We're gonna find balance now. We're gonna do tree balance. So this is a beautiful posture. Lots of elegance and connection in this. So we bring the weight into the left foot. My right foot's on the ground, but I'm just really sending the weight into the left side. And, and with that, slight bend of the knee there, just to really lower the center of gravity. And then the turn of the right knee out, that foot, the right foot goes either on the ankle, depends where you want, where, where you feel comfortable, where, how your balance is and, you know, what works for your body. Or on the calf, so it's almost like the, the arch of the foot holds that calf muscle. Or you skip the knee and you go high on the inside thigh. So it's pressing and you press, if you're on the thigh, you need to really press that foot quite firmly and press that thigh back. So you've engaged that thigh muscle and the foot's got something to hold on to. Knee is out to the side though. So we're opening the hips and we're pressing towards the center line rather than pressing, I've got to be careful it doesn't push, <laughs> make me fall over. Yeah, this is kind of like, so this is why we press the thigh back. So we get the center line. Inhale, lift the arms up, lifting the chest, lifting your spirits, bring the hands above the head, and then we keep the body upright and lifted, but we keep the hands in front of the heart center. So you feel that lift the chest, length here. And as the chest lifts, the shoulders sit back. So we've got lots of openness here, particularly the fronts of these shoulders. This is preventing this kind of, you know, this is what happens as the years pass and as we do a lot of this, <laughs> all the other things. And also as we kind of, you know, come into ourselves a little bit, we need to really open, be more available, maybe more present. And this, this is a, definitely encourages that. Pressing the hands together lightly and evenly, pressing the, the foot against the inside of the thigh or lower down. And keeping your gaze steady, look at something in front of you. Let's focus your eyes softly on that and breathe. Most importantly, don't hold your breath when you're breathing, when you're balancing. Don't hold your breath when you're, when you're balancing. Breathe, stay steady, notice the wobbles. That's all good, that's, your, that's learning. That's your body learning and dealing with the, with the balance. Good. So we're gonna come out of this now. So we're gonna come out slowly and and gracefully inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, lower the arms down, still holding the legs in position if you can while you're moving. And then take hold of that right knee and just lift it up and then lower it down slowly as you can. And then some release for those ankles. Yeah, particularly that left one, we're just gonna even them up. We'll do both of them because then it kind of just resets the other side. So you feel a bit more even. Send the weight into the right. Bend that right knee slightly. Turn that left knee out. So we're opening up the hip and the foot. So do the same thing on this side as you did on the other side, wherever that is, ankle, calf, or thigh. Pressing the thigh back if you're on that thigh. Open, really open here and open here. So everything's very open here. Inhale, lift the arms up, bring the hands together and then bring them into the heart center. So again, don't forget to keep this very open, shoulders down and away. Back of the neck is long, lift the crown. So we have a crown here. Imagine your crown lifting up, you know, this beautiful light. And imagine this beautiful tree that you're representing, that you're embodying. It's an embodied tree. So you think about the crown, this beautiful crown that trees have reaching up for light, opening, expanding to receive the light. And then from the sole of the foot, roots going down into the earth to draw up energy, moisture, nutrients, information as well. Good. Breathe, keep your eyes steady, breathing very steadily in and out through the nostrils. Just feeling all the movements that are happening. You can always have your hand against the wall or a piece of furniture if you're finding it very challenging, just to steady yourself, not lean on. It's a difference. 
We're going to come out just now. So inhale, lift the arms up. See if you can keep the legs where they are. Exhale, bring the arms down slowly. But breathing in and out through the nostrils always. And then take hold of that left knee if you can, or just lift it up off the ground. Give it a squeeze and lower it down. And we're going to give everything a shake up now. So knees are bent. Give the knees. So we're kind of shaking the knees sort of alternately. So you're going to give everything a shake up. All the atoms of the body and the hips are going and the shoulders are going. And this is again a time to make some sound. I'm going to release the tension, breathing in through the nostrils and then let the sound out. Ah, it's kind of fun too. Shaking off that tension. Beautiful. Good. So let's um, come into the half sun salutes now. Yeah. So standing. Have a look at your feet again. Let's re-engage with the feet, re-engage with the ground. Lift the toes up, place them down. Lift the heels up high and place them down. Good. Just feeling that. Standing nice and tall. So feel that lift of the chest. Feel this extension here rather than collapse. So just notice what your normal posture might be like. You know, really think about how you what you want to work on and develop this posture. So this is also posture is how you present yourself in the world. So we're going to start this half sun salute. I'll do this very slowly. I'll talk to you all the whole time, talk you through the whole time. Breathing in, breathing out. You can bring the hands down, breathing in, looking down. Then you, as you inhale, you lift the arms up, look up, bring the hands together. And as you exhale, the hands come down, but the chest leads and the knees bend and the fingers touch the ground. Looking down at the ground. Now, as you inhale, you start to, to lift and look up, looking up to the ceiling, and the hands come to the knees. The chest opens, so you've got straight arms, straight back, and straight legs. And then we keep the legs straight, but we come into a forward bend, touching the ground. Bend the knees a lot so that you can push up from the feet, inhaling, reach up with the arms, look up. And exhale, bring the arms down. We're back to the beginning. So it's that simple. I'm going to go through it. You know, very slowly. You can do it at your own speed if you're familiar with this. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bending the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, hands on the knees, look forward, look upwards to the ceiling, open the chest. Exhale, forward bend. Straight legs. Now bend the knees. Inhale, push up from the ground, look up, reach up. So strong inhale all the way up and then exhale, the arms coming down. So turn to show you the other view. Inhale, lift the arms up, look up. Exhale, leading with the chest, knees are bent. It's important the knees are bent. Exhale, put, touch the, the fingertips on the, on the ground. Inhale, look up. As well, open the chest. The shoulders have to come back. Legs are straight, arms are straight, backs are straight. Then keep the legs straight, but forward bend. Looking at the ground, bend the knees. Now look up, inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms come down. So it's constantly, you know, we're constantly looking at the Opposites, inhale, reach up, it's a strong inhale, it's a soft exhale, the knees are soft and the fingertips are softly touching the ground. Then we get more dynamic, inhale, look up, open the chest, and then exhale, forward bend, which is sort of in between. So we're coming to the ground, so that's softer, but we have a straight legs. Now we bend the knees, this is very dynamic, we're pushing up from the ground, inhaling is strong, reaching up, looking up, the hands come together, and then the exhale, the arms coming down. Let's do it a couple more times. A little bit faster, breathing in, breathing out, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, look forwards, open the chest, exhale, forward bend, legs straight. Now bend the knees, inhale, push up from the ground, look up. So your eyes are really important in this because it really helps you to, to, to where, you're guide, where, you're, where you're guiding yourself. So you look up to begin with, inhaling. Then you exhale, bend the knees, and the eyes are coming to the ground. Then you look up to the ceiling. Hands come to the knees, inhaling, then exhaling, looking down to the ground. Straight legs. Then bend the knees. Already the eyes are wanting to go up to the ceiling, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, arms come down. One more time. Let's do this one more time. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, look forwards, open the chest, hands to the knees. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs. Bend the knees. Push up from the ground. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. And we just bring the hands to the heart centre, standing tall, standing in the mountain, Tadasana, but with the hands together in Anjali Mudra. So together that is Anjali Tadasana. Beautiful. 
one of my favourite snow. Just checking from the ground up, so remembering you're in connection with the ground, feel the earth, wiggle the toes, spread the toes out, feel the weight is even between the feet, and also checking, you know, how the weight is distributed across the feet. Is it all in the back, in the heels, or is it kind of forwards in the toes? Or do you feel that the weight is spread out over the surface of the soles of both feet? So have a sense of that. Once you have a sense of that, sensitize the feet and feeling more grounded. Then a slight um, movement here in the pelvis this is right in the middle of this. You can see right in the middle of this posture of this uh, of your body. So we just slightly imagine they'll tilt in the pelvis. I'm showing you with my hands so it makes it more, more prominent. You can do that if you want, if it helps. So I'm pointing the tailbone down and feeling, noticing when I do that and moving that position, my abdominals engage. And also I feel a sense of the thighs engaging. So this is a really important movement because you could stand for a lot longer time like this than if you're like this. This is going to get a strain on the back. Here you've got the abdominals supporting the back. From here, nice strong base, soft knees. We lift and lengthen this space here. Again, this is really important, this space. We're lifting the chest, the sternum, so that we can drop the shoulders down, arms hang. And then again, this head floating, floating on top of the body is long in the back of the neck. So this helps it stand even taller. And then we'll bring the hands together into the Anjali Mudra. So the hands are pressed together lightly. Notice that this is lovely and open still. Just in front of the heart, the hands are pressed together evenly and lightly. And you might even want to close your eyes in this position just to see. Well, actually, when you close your eyes, you see more in a certain way. An inner vision you're developing, kind of getting more comfortable with the dark and seeing the richness of the dark, the necessity of the dark. And also by closing the eyes, other senses become more sensitized, more heightened. So you'll feel your body a bit more. You maybe feel the tiny movements that are required just to stand still. You'll feel those tiny movements in the feet. And clearly it's a great place to bring your attention to, as well as bringing your attention to your breath coming in out through the nostrils, noticing, noticing the qualities of this posture, steadiness, endurance, resilience aliveness, centered, grounded. Feel yourself at your center. Feel yourself grounded, you're connected with the earth, supported by the earth, and also connected to the heavens through the crown. And energized. fed by the sun, by the light. Good. And just release for a second. Okay. We're going to um, come into a forward bend now. We've just done the forward bend, so it within that half sense note, so maybe this will be not so unfamiliar. The legs are a bit more warmed up. You can come into this two ways. You can either hold the back and come into the forward bend if you feel you need extra support. So notice my hands, fingers pointing down. Maybe just give the back a rub anyway, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it feels nice. Just loving where, where it needs it. And if you feel like you're stronger in the back, then you can come in an extended version, so reaching up. So it's a nice straight line here. And then breathing out, either holding the back or extended, coming forwards. Have a slightly soft knee, but not completely. And then we're coming into the forward bend, touching the, touching the ground. And if you find you're not touching the ground, not reaching it, then put something on the ground. You know, books, blocks, cushions, anything. So you make contact. So we come up on the fingertips, look forwards, breathing in to lengthen the spine. Notice how that's lengthening the spine. And then we're coming into the forward bend. Looking at the space between the toes or the big toes themselves not looking back through the legs. This is important. Another thing to focus on to keep you in alignment 
is imagine one end of the line is the sternum and it's wanting to come to that space between the big toes and the other end of the line is the base of the spine and that's wanting to fly up to the ceiling so you're getting this sense of this line this uh, maybe two points moving away from each other in space another way of describing that and in between those two points, moving away from each other in the space, we can bring the breath to that. So we expand those two points. Bring the fullness of our breath to that space. And then feeling that we're just softening into this position. And it might not feel like that, it might feel quite difficult. But rather than pushing into that, breathe into that. Okay, so we're going to come out of this and into a lunge. So the way we do that is come up on the fingertips one more time, look forwards. Bring the weight onto the left foot and then we step back a big step or several steps so it needs to be quite big because if it's too small you're not going to be able to lunge properly so make sure it's big enough so that when you bend that left knee the knee is above the ankle there and hand either side of the foot but we can still extend that right leg back and the body is kind of in a straight ish line rather than the bottom lifted up yeah so then we really getting a good bit of extension across the groin and breathe and then we're going to bring that right knee down so knees I know have sometimes a bit problematical for some people so being on that knee might be might be painful if it's painful pad it up with the mat blankets cushions whatever you have if it's a bit uncomfortable I would say stay with it but you need to be able to know what the difference is between discomfort and pain pain is sharp and it's a big no from the body and we respond to that no so if you're finding yourself a bit wobbly, widen your stance. So width weighs on the mat, otherwise stay with that. Inhale, lift the arms up, we bring them together. New moon is coming up, so we're gonna do a little bit of a crescent one here. Inhale, exhale, taking the hips forward, taking the arms back. Looking up at the ceiling, if that feels okay, or otherwise just looking forwards. But we need to retake really the arms back, otherwise this is just gonna be all the way coming forwards. It's sort of less pleasing, but this is, much nicer you get this lovely shape you see this crescent from the toe to the fingertips and we really get to open the chest here as well you get a nice even back bend all breath breath in and as you breathe out bring the hands to the ground back either side of the foot and then tuck that right toe under we're going to come into a plank so bring that right knee off the ground and send the left foot back and then we're in this plank shape so again rather than the bottom being in the air so Rather than the face above the hands and the bottom in the air, the chest is above the hands and the bottom is kind of in line with the spine. If that feels too much, just bring your knees to the ground. You're still doing plank. It's just less intense. So you can choose that. So, so just take another breath if you can. And then either bring the knees down and then lower down or find a way to come onto the front of your body. If you're feeling strong, you, know, you can lower down with your weight and strength in your arms. But whatever you do, just find your way to the front of the body and rest your head on the side. If it's not possible, that hurts your neck, then bring the hands forward and rest your head on the back of your hands. There. Breathe. So in this position, maybe just close your eyes for a second and have a little break. Just feel your breath. So this is a great way to feel the physicality of the breath because the front of your body which is where we tend to experience a lot of our breath is pressed against the ground so we can feel that the body kind of pressing against the ground as we breathe in and the more we breathe in or the deeper we take a breath the more length we can get in the out breath which is for me the key the out breath lengthening the out breath because this is all about triggering the relaxation response which is the out breath does so we're going to do a little back bend here bring the legs together bring the forehead to the ground arms are back back to the arms are on the ground use the inhale to lift the nose lift the chin lift the chest and then lift the shoulders so we're getting the starting to get the back bend and then lift the hands off the ground reaching the fingers back and then lift the legs so it's nice and long and we're kind of like we're kind of flying in the air, right? So smile rather than straining and don't hold your breath. So it could, this is the two difference between that, between this and strain and this. It's just like 
Breathing in, hand out to the nostrils, smiling. One more breath in and lower down, rest on the other side of the face. <sighs> Let it go. So we, we keep a balance in the neck position, so we do both sides. Breathing into the nostrils, releasing breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. <sighs> Good. So we'll do a bow now. Now, I know not everybody can get hold of their feet and do a full bow, so there's an alternative. But if you're going to go for the bow, then first of all, the feet come off the ground, so the lower parts of the legs, so the knees bend, and then you reach back with the hands, get hold of the feet. That's the first thing. If you're finding that impossible to get hold of both feet, then you can just have the legs still in the same position, but turn the hands over, so the palms are on the ground. So you're going to do the same position, but without reaching for the legs. So you choose, I'll show you both. Make sure the knees aren't splayed as well, because we don't want to put pressure on the uh, sacrum. So we keep them um, hips width apart. So now we're going to again lift, first of all, the head and the chest. And then we're going to start to lift. Almost, the, imagine the lift is coming from the toes wanting to be pulled up to the sky. So we're getting a nice bow shape. If you're not able to reach the feet or don't want to, then you're doing the same thing, lifting the body off the ground, but there's a slight press of the hands in the ground. So you've got the same position. It's just slightly more exaggerated with a full bow. Yeah. And breathing out, lower down. And rest on the other side of the face. And rest the legs down. And we're going to come out of this now quite quickly. So push the hands into the ground, lifting the body off the ground and walk the hands back, sit back into the swan pose, so the arms are extended in front of you, bring the forward to the ground, or again, always, if you prefer, you can put your head on the back of the hands there. And this is a great chance to release the tension in the back, feel your breath, again, these wings, these ribs, expand them, breathing in, through the nostrils, out through the mouth, again, releasing breath, Releasing, so in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. <sighs> and even add a side to that. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Good. So we're going to just do the other side now. I haven't forgotten, don't worry. Come up to all fours. And then we're going to just tuck the toes under, breathing in. Come into a downward dog first of all, just to get just to get into the position. Then bring our gaze to the hands. So I'm looking down at the hands. So it's slightly coming out of the downward dog. And then we're going to bring the right foot forward. So bring the weight onto the left foot. This is, you know, this if you didn't do, do if you didn't take the weight to the left foot and the left hand, it'd be impossible to get the foot forwards. So that could be what's stopping you. So there's still the hands on the ground, but this weight is all in the left hand and the left foot. And then you bring that right foot forward. So we're going to do the other side now, the other side of the lunge. And you can always shuffle it forwards a bit more if you feel like you haven't got enough space. Notice with this left leg, I'm pushing that left heel away, getting a good stretch, and I'm supporting my body on my leg and with the hands here. And then we bring the left knee down. And I'd have a toe, if you prefer, you can have a toe tucked under or flat. Um, and widen the stance again if you need to as well, and also pad the knee up if you need to. So lots of things that you can do to make it more comfortable for yourself. Now, present moon, breathing in, lift the arms up, breathing out, take the hips forward, the arms coming back. Looking up at the ceiling, open the chest, beautiful open chest, lovely open, extended back bend. Good. Breathing in and out for the nostrils, one more time in. And breathing out, bring the hands down to the ground. Tuck that left toe under, lift the left knee off the ground. And step forward with the left foot. And then we're just going to catch ourselves, sit the hands slightly behind, bring the bottom down, or whatever way you find that you can come onto. Seated, legs outstretched in front of you, legs together. Stretch the fingers toward the toes. We're going to come down to lying down at last. At last, you get to lie down, stretch the fingers towards the toes, breathing in and out the whole time and slowly lower down. So really just get this last little bit of, of effort working on the abdominals slightly and then let it completely go. Once your body's on the ground, 
let it go. So feet fall out to the side, cinch your vast and then arms out to the sides, palms facing the ceiling, back of the neck long. Maybe even close the eyes for a moment, just to feel this body breathing in through the nostrils. Out through the mouth. Oh, yeah. Almost made it. Yeah, just feeling how you feel now. How does your body feel? A few more things to do. We'll just take this little pause just to see how do I feel? A lot of kind of movement, body, standing, you know, stronger things. And we're just feeling how it feels to lie on the ground, to feel connected, the whole of the back of the body is supported. Or you feel some parts of the back of the body are in connection, direct connection, but they are on the ground. They're in a horizontal embodied place there's nothing to do here not for now and breathing easily in and out through the nostrils just a little bit of peace for a moment just a couple things here so to begin we're just going to give ourselves a full extension so bring the legs together point the toes take the arms above the head extend them so we're just gonna we did a little bit of abdominal work just then and in fact the abdominal has been quite active today so we're going to give them a bit of a bit of an extension pointing the toes extending the arms away breathing in and as you breathe out push the heels away so they're staying on the ground we're just sliding them back and forth breathing in point the toes breathing out push the heels away beautiful i'm really feeling just this vitality and expansiveness of the breath of the space that you are, are and have created in your body. Yeah, space for the energy to flow, for the vitality to be, to be felt. Can you feel that spark of vitality? Can you feel your spirits a little bit more sparked, raised, your vibration raised? A little bit more kind of open and relaxed and then we're just going to move the arms a little bit so breathing in have the arms just a bit more relaxed so we're not extending them now having the elbows slightly bent breathing in and also just relax the legs so just first of all we're just going to rock them back and forth just to remind them they can they can just rest now breathing in again and breathing out bringing the arms through space, this is all out breath as the arms move through space and reach the ground at the end of the out breath and the in breath begins. We're just gonna slow down, breathing in. And breathing out, just a couple more of these, just to engage really fully with that connection of body and breath. They're indivisible really. You can do this with your eyes closed really. Matching the movement of the body to the breath rather than the other way around because the breath is in charge here. The next time you find your arms either side of the body, don't rush to get there, just still take your time, take your time, slowly moving through space. But when your hands do reach the ground, breathe in again, and as you breathe out, press the back into the ground. So you notice how that lower back presses into the ground, and this makes it much easier to lift the knees up and have a little bit of a roll side to side. Ah, oh, yeah, give yourself a bit of a rock and a roll, side to side. And then we're just gonna circle the knees with the hands to give them a little bit of attention. And then take the hands around the front of the knees. So you can see the whole of the back is really engaged with the ground in this position, probably the most engaged it can be, particularly, you know, here in the lower back, when you have your knees tucked in and also try and Think about the chin being slightly tucked in. So we're trying to expose the back of the neck. So as you inhale, you take the knees away as far as you can, still holding onto them. And as you exhale, we bring the knees into the body. At the same time, we lift the head as much as we can off the ground, as if the nose wants to touch the knees, probably won't reach there. But that's what we're aiming. Inhaling, flattening the back and taking the head to the ground and taking the knees away. Exhale, making yourself very small. So we're really, with our spine, we're expanding and we're expanding the breath. 
on the inhale and on the exhale we're squeezing the breath out making ourselves very very small you can even feel your base of your spine coming off the ground there so we're very curved and small inhaling and exhaling and i'm going to give you another option so if you want to you can let go of the knees completely and take the arms above the head you want to go really expanded and then as you exhale we come into the same shape here exhaling squeezing the knees in so inhaling, expanding, maybe take the legs away if you want to extend the legs away and exhaling, bringing the knees in. Decide how far away you want to take the legs, that's going to be more impacting on the abdominal, so really press the back into the ground, only take the knees as far away as your abdominals will allow you and then breathe out fully. One more, breathing in, expansion and breathing out. Contraction. Place the soles of the feet on the ground and just slide the legs away. And we're just going to place the hands on the body here. If you feel, feel it, uh, find it uncomfortable lying flat, put the feet on the ground, let the knees fall together and just be relaxed like this. You can even get your legs up on the furniture if you want to. And Whenever you feel like your body needs it, it's always nice sometimes to have the hands rested on the body. Close your eyes. Feel your breath between your back and your hands. So you might want to have your hands on your chest and your belly and your hips and your eyes and your throat, anywhere that it needs it. And you can just give your body a little rub there as well. It's like a real recognition of yourself. Making sure the back of the neck is nice and long on the ground. We'll have a little relaxation. You can let your arms fall at the sides if you want to. We can just keep them on the body. Eyes are closed just for a minute or so. Just a minute of lying still and quiet on the ground. just feel your breath, feel your body supported and held by this ground, by this earth. Breath coming in and breath going out. So we come to the end of our relaxation. And very slowly bring yourself back to the day, to the moment. Maybe give yourself a stretch, opening your eyes, standing, breathing a little deeper. Yeah, maybe hug your knees, stretch your body on the ground or along to your side. Do whatever feels good to you. Take your time. And finally, coming up to seated when you're ready. Come to seated when you're ready. Yeah, maybe give the body a little rub just to remind yourself. Here I am. Appreciating this body, being grateful for this body, for this life. And then we'll rub the hands together. We'll finish with, a, with our intention. So we're going to give it a bit of energy, first of all, between the hands and heat. And then place the hands one on top of each other on the heart center. Close the eyes for a moment. So bring to mind your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation, a positively framed sentence, something you want to manifest or encourage in yourself. So say that to yourself and take it deep into your heart, plant it there, give it warmth and energy and your attention. Namaste. Thank you very much for your practice. Thank you for being here.
have a wonderful day and um yeah enjoy thank you